Hello and welcome to my fourth tutorial on how to code a RuneScape private server. This video will be explaining how to fix a very common glitch in Zenith sources and most 667 sources. Um, it is the 667 trade glitch where if you stand underneath someone and the items in the trade and then you accept, it closes and either bugs you out and makes you lose all items or the person who is underneath you steals all the items in the trade screen. So it's going to be quite a hassle for owners, and this is my own fix, so if anyone else claims it is theirs, it, they are lying, which is partly why I'm making this video, because I've already gave it out to like one person who will probably share it to others. And so yeah, of course there's going to be a variation in it, there's probably a better professional way to fix this, but this is just my fix. Um, it's pretty simple and it will cost you nothing, and all it will cost is you using some of your time to watch this video. Okay, so anyway, you will find the actual file you, you need in source, com, then rs, and then game, player, content, and it is down the bottom and it's called trade.java. This will pretty much, this thing handles the whole trade. Okay, so this is the original one. It has not been changed at all, which is what I'm doing. <clears throat> okay, anyway, uh, this bit right here, this means that there's two people in this um, situation, the trader and then the partner. The trader is obviously the first person who trades, and then the partner, I think, is the person who's trading them with. Okay, so it says, if trader get location, which means, like, get where they are, and if the X is the partner's location, so it means if they're on top of each other, and then the trader get location is the partner, so it means if they're both on top of them, send the game message, can't trade in this position, and then end the session, which pretty much just means it's closed, just like close it, and it just like shuts, closes off. This is, uh, I think, a Zenith fix, so in any previous ones, I'm not really sure if this is correct, but like Insidia X, I think it's called, um, it did not have this, and you could just go like, accept, accept, and steal it, because when you're underneath, for some reason, it bugs out, and the game gets all confused, who's who. So this is a basic fix, but with this partner get trade in session thing made you lose your items. Okay, so this is my current one, and my fix is pretty simple. Um, uh, that was not even the right one. Anyway, uh, hold up. <laughs> Let me just. Okay, here it is. Um, if trader gets blah blah. So if you're on top of each other, um, open an interface. Um, I made it so it opens the logout screen. Um, I'll show you an example of what this does. It then sends you a message saying you can't trade in this position, and I added a command dot dot log out. Okay, I'll show you an example of this in game. So, this is actually how you trade glitch as well, so don't abuse this, but trade, trade no. Okay, so if I walk underneath him, double click accept, it opens the interface with the login. You can't do anything, you can't click at all, you can only click your minigame, you can teleport, but it will still stay there, and he doesn't even know what's happening. Um, and then you just have to type log out or dot dot log out and it will fix and you get your items back. So that's pretty much how you do it. Um, this is the coding side of it. This is the old one, or this is just me testing it. Um, it used to be try to get session. By the way, if you don't know, to go slash slash in front of something, we'll comment it out so it won't read it. But you can still see it. But, um, explaining this in coding wise, it pretty much opens an interface which will close because when you're trading um, like this look open second trade it will open this interface 334 hang on let me just log in uh, okay so it will open when you start and accept the trade it will open an interface screen of 334 which is the interface ID so if you go into 334 it will open it will normally open the screen but I don't know, I forget what the first one is. One eight I don't know. I forget, but um uh interface three three five, let's try that. Yeah, so it would normally open up this interface. And then what mine does is instead of closing the session, the session is still open when this happens, but it opens interface one eight two, which is the logout button. Same one down there. But it what it does is it's not um set it's not, uh, I forget what it's called, but normally it's, um, oh, I forget what it's called, but normally it would open the interface in this little square here, but since <clears throat> it's not like a docked interface, or I forget what the correct word is, it just pops up in the middle of your screen, and so it disables all clicking, 
and you can't pretty much do any skilling. Uh, <clears throat> oh, but you can on that because it's not the actual interface. Like it's not through this uh, session thing. And then yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. So you type in all that code in the form leeches. But this is actually my method, so please be nice. And then the second thing you will need, and it's in con uh, content, is commands .java. Drag that in, and I'll show you. Actually, I'll show you just mine off mine because it's not on that one. But you will need a command called logout. And why can it not find logout? Logout. I don't know. My thing's been real weird recently. Ugh. Okay. Um. And I'll just pause the video while I find. Okay, so I found it. Um, here it is. Pretty much, it's the simplest command ever. It just says if cmd. Remember, we already discussed this. What cmd zero is equals ignore case log out. Then just player, meaning the player who's doing the command, just log out. So it logs you out. And when you log out, it closes every single thing and restores you. So it's pretty much a decent fix, and it will work. So then. After you've done that, after you need to make that and the um, yeah, so fix this and then also add the logout command or else you're pretty much stuck and it will cause people problems. So like I said, it's not the professional fix that you were probably hoping for, but it, it still works. So this is just a basic one that you can use while until you find some professional good looking one to fix your trade glitch with. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helped you and goodbye.